have is Blake Quarter with uh, Home Builders Association of Alabama. Blake is both partner of the Builders Group LLC, a residential and light commercial contractor, as well as a broker of Quarter Real Estate Inc., both based out of Tuscaloosa and operations from one end of the state to the other. After graduating in 2002 from the University of Alabama with a BS in business and accounting, he entered the real estate and construction industry full-time after nearly a lifetime of experience surrounding the industry. A member of both the House, the Home Builders Association of Tuscaloosa and the Huntsville Madison County Builders Association, Blake has chaired the HBAT's Investment Property Owners Council Membership Committee and the Parade of Homes Committee. In 2011, he served as HBAT president. He has represented the HBAA as a national director to the National Association of Home Builders. He is currently serving as the 2021 HBAA president. In addition to his involvement with the HBAA, Blake currently serves on the board here at Alabama Housing Finance Authority, the Rachel Williams Foundation, the HBAT Charities, the Tuscaloosa Association of Realtors, and the Finance Committee of the Tuscaloosa Association of Realtors. Blake, thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to the information you're going to provide. Thanks, Tony, and thanks to the Housing Finance Authority for putting this together. Uh, my comments are going to be pretty brief. Um, I don't have a fancy slideshow like Stuart did there. I'm going have to have to talk to him, see if he can hook me up with one of those. But I just wanted to give everybody that uh, that's attending, and thanks to the attendees as well for, for tuning in here. Um, I just want to give everybody kind of a current outlook of construction in case you've been hiding under a rock. Uh, materials have gone up. Prices have gone up. Uh, Carrie with the Housing Finance Authority asked earlier if we were building houses, and the answer is yes and no. We're, we're trying to build them as quickly and as, not as cheaply, but as economically as we can. But uh, we've really had some materials uh, issues with shortages shortages and pricing. It's been a perfect confluence of, of bad events. We've had a, an ice storm in Texas has taken down a, a resin plant. We've had shipping containers over in the Pacific that have experienced extreme weather. Um, containers have gone overboard. The port at Los Angeles is backed up with a backlog and uh, COVID. So what we're seeing, just to kind of give you an example, what we're seeing on the construction side is a standard three quarter inch OSB, which is what you hear a lot of people just say, OSB is up. Well, three quarters of an inch is what we use for sheathing and, and roof decking and things like that. So in March 2020, uh, the um, wholesale price of that was $4.80 for a four by eight sheet. March 19, 2021, it was $10.25. Now that's wholesale. Our, my real world experience is it was probably eight to 10 bucks back in March 2020. And now uh, lows, the local lows is $40 a sheet. So you can imagine what that's doing to home prices. Uh, and it's not just OSB. I'm building my personal house. It's got a basement. The, the most random item ever is a basement tie that costs a dollar. And one of those ships, the containers that fell off of a ship over in the Pacific, held a bunch of these ties. So my house is sitting there. I don't, you know, construction's delayed. And costs continue to increase, but it's 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 touched everything from OSB framing lumber, um, again siding, uh, anything made out of plastics, um, having appliance shortages, you name it. Every every facet of the house right now is either on back order or uh, the price is increasing. So what does that mean for the total price of the house? Well, what we're seeing is a 15 to 20 percent increase year over year in cost. Uh, we're not making any more money. I know in a lot of local markets, y'all probably see builders raising prices. We're raising them, uh, I shouldn't say weekly, but definitely monthly. And that's just due to materials increases. I mean, we're completely exposed from the time we start a house until, you know, potentially someone brings us a contract, could be 30 to 60 days. And in this environment with the increases we're seeing, that's a lot of exposure for us. So we're trying to stay ahead of it with price increases um, just because we know everything's going up. You know, copper, copper, I uh, got a notice this week that copper has gone up that, you know, is used for wiring in all the houses. So um, just kind of a, an example, we uh, what, what we're trying to do personally in our business, and I think other builders are, 
is we're trying to stockpile some things. We bought three truckloads of OSB earlier this year at $20 a sheet. Like I said, now it's at $40 a sheet. That allows us to try to stay ahead of some of these price increases. The reality is we can't buy enough OSB that we use and we can't buy every facet of, of materials that we use in a house. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to pass along. What's the good news? The good news is Stuart just told us that interest rates are gonna stay relatively low. Um, so that's gonna to continue to be a tailwind for us. Um, but um, also uh, what that's doing to our industry is we're reluctant to give pricing. If, if people bring in custom, custom builds, especially intricate custom builds, our lag times, you know, 60 days right now, just to, just to get them pricing and get them through the system. We're also telling people, hey, this price is good literally for today. You know, if you come back in two weeks, we can just about guarantee it's going to be a higher price. That's turning some people away. Um, I think the more we can do things like like this Zoom call and get the information out there, um, the better the better off it is for consumers to know, you know, to set expectations for them. As a result of all these increasing prices, uh, we've run into some appraisal issues. And so we're trying to stay ahead of that. We're trying to get in touch with our appraisers, you know, show them on paper what, what our cost increase are, let them know that it's not just profit driven. Um, so that's been a challenge. Uh, the other things that are going on with the state home builders, uh, just gonna touch on a couple items and then I'll, then I'll turn it over back to, to Tony. We are um, having a shortage of skilled work, workforce. Uh, the way we're addressing that is we're starting uh, plumbing and trade schools, plumbing and, and uh, framing trade schools. An example of that in North Alabama Home Building Academy, they launched in January 2020 and they've completed 10 classes with 100 students graduating. And what we're trying to stress from a construction standpoint is, you know, every all, all these young minds that come through high school, some of them have different paths. Not everyone uh, not everyone's necessarily best placed in a, in a four-year college. So what we're trying to show them is, a, is an opportunity to be business owners and to, to do hard work and work in our industry and be, be extremely successful. There's success stories all over the state of plumbers and electricians um, that, are, that are making great money and have a great quality of life. So that's what we're trying to get out in front of our, our young minds. And we're, we're actually starting to to go down the ladder, hopefully into middle schools and try to try to start the conversation there. The other thing from a state perspective that I think you guys may be interested in is we just started doing uh, continuing ed for our home builders. It's something that we felt like we've needed for a long time, uh, just as a pathway to professionalism. And so we're requiring six hours for uh, licensed builders under the age of 60. And like I said, we just, we feel like that's, that's needed. Um, to, to create a, a, a sense of professionalism in our industry. Other than that, um, you know, I, I think Stuart touched on a lot of it. He touched a little bit on, on new construction. I don't have anything else. I'll stick around and uh, feel free to ask me any questions at the end, but I will, uh, I'll turn it back over to you, Tony. Uh, 